So we are testing an application that uses Quick Framework. Cool thing about this framework is that it downloads only the JavaScript necessary to show the page over a little JavaScript. And then handlers like onClickHandler download its own code when necessary. We can see that by looking at the network tab and then clicking on the button and notice that it downloaded this script that has the actual alert. So in this lesson, let me prove this by using a test. All right, we'll prove that when we click the button, it downloads the right script. Well, first, let's confirm that the alert is called with the right argument. I will move Cypress to the left. My starting spec is on the right. And the first thing I want to do is I want to spy on window.alert method. So site visit actually yields the window with application. And here we can stop the method alert and we can give it an alias. Next, we can click on the button. So we can find the button using the text. Click me and we can click and we'll just see if it works. Yes, our spy um, or stop in this case could be both um, has been called. So let's confirm this so we can get the wind alert and it should have been called with argument string 42. And so that's correct. But we have to spy on the network traffic as well. So how do we know which script is downloaded when we click on the button? So let's see this again. So this is the script, right? Notice its path, its local host source root component, right? We're running in dev mode, so these names are not optimized. The name of the script is an attribute of a button. So notice right here on click, special attribute, the name of the script, hashtag something inside the script. So we can get the button and get that attribute. So before we click, let's get the button again. Button, click me. And the way we can get the attribute, we can use invoke, okay? And it could be on click, okay? We need to split it using the hash pound sign. And then we can intercept this URL and this is the path name, really, right? That's uh, part of the URL. And we can be specific. We can say it has to use the get method and we'll give it an alias so that we can see it right here. So we're spying on that network call. We can confirm that this call has been made by using SciWait and then the network intercept alice. Notice right here we have roots. This is our network spy. Notice it was called once. And this is our alert stub and it was also called once. And one other alice that we can use right here to simplify our code just a little bit. Notice right here we get the button and then we get the button again, we can use an alice. So this is example click button. And next time we want to click on it, we can simply get the click button. So we're now using three different types of aliases, an element alias, then we have intercept alias, and we have a method stop synon alias as well. So this is how we can test our quick application to confirm that it downloads the script necessary to process the click event.